What's up guys and welcome back to another video. As you go through your due diligence process for finding a business school, you will see that some MBA programs are so-called STEM designated and some are not. So in this video, I wanna talk about the benefits of doing a STEM MBA and who these programs are the right fit for. So let me start out by answering the question what STEM means. STEM basically means science, technology, engineering, and math. Science covers subjects such as medicine, biochemistry, and biophysics. Technology covers subjects such as computer science and IT. Engineering covers subjects such as electrical engineering and aerospace engineering. And finally, math covers subjects such as data science, statistics, and applied mathematics. And those are really just examples. They're not all inclusive. I'm gonna provide a link in the description below with a list of STEM programs per USCIS, the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. So technically, business education programs have nothing to do with STEM courses. An MBA is not a STEM degree per se. However, there is a workaround where business schools can offer MBA business skills with an emphasis on STEM applications and that's how they become MBA programs that are STEM designated. This leads me to the question, why are some business schools STEM designated and some not? The process for business schools to secure STEM designation is not a quick or easy one. A lot of the smaller MBA programs don't have the capacity to go through the approval process. In fact, business schools have to go through the curriculum overhaul and a rigorous approval process to secure that designation. And because of that, not being STEM designated may put them at a huge disadvantage when it comes to attracting international students. So as you research MBA programs, you will see that some business schools already have the STEM designation, while others are currently in the process and some schools are currently not even considering going STEM. And what's the appeal of STEM? What are the benefits? STEM itself was created in 2016 for international students to remain in the United States for an additional 24 months after graduation to receive real life training through work experience in the United States. This means as an international student, you get your traditional 12 month OPT, that is the optional practical training program, plus an extension of 24 months after the first year. So in total, you can stay three years without any issues. And on top of that, you get at least three shots at the H1B lottery. So STEM is especially beneficial for international students. Now with that in mind, business schools began designing and offering STEM programs to attract interest from international applicants. The first school to introduce a STEM designated MBA was a school outside of the top 20, but still a top 50 school, and that was the University of Wisconsin-Madison for its concentration in operations and technology management back in 2016. The following year, Duke Fuqua added a STEM management science and technology management track to its MBA program. And then in 2018, the University of Rochester became the first school to have its entire MBA program designated as STEM. All of the top 25 schools and a dozen of others have established STEM in their MBA curriculum. 10 schools in the top 25 and five in the top 10 have made their entire MBA program STEM. Experts say that international graduates from top-ranked MBA programs are almost always going to quickly find a job in the US, but it may take longer for graduates of less competitive programs, especially given how unpredictable the job market and the economy have been since the start of the pandemic. In other words, if you can't find a job right away, this additional time would extend a lifeline. STEM fields are considered essential to the US economy's growth. That's why the Biden administration announced a series of moves to attract more international students and researchers in STEM fields by identifying 22 new fields of study eligible for the STEM optional practical training program, including climate science, cloud computing, data analytics, and many, many more to gain additional work experience in the United States while remaining on a student visa. As I mentioned, a lot of business schools who are currently not STEM designated are in the process of earning a STEM designation. 
It became a trend because essentially international candidates will look for ways to stay longer in the United States. Not having that designation could significantly harm business school's efforts to recruit international students who want to build a life and a career in the United States after graduation. And now to answer the question, who is it for? STEM MBA programs in their current form are a mix of business and analytics courses. They're focused on building business skills using data sciences. However, not every MBA applicant will be from a technical academic background and might be less interested in such a program. Also, there will be applicants who will be aiming for a more general management program and therefore STEM MBAs might not be a good fit for them. Therefore, while opting for a STEM MBA, make sure you are comfortable with the technical and science-based curriculum. To sum this up, whether a school is STEM designated or not, this will be a differentiator for most international students. STEM helps with international students finding jobs in the US, it helps bring them to the US job market, and it helps business schools attract corporate partners who haven't worked with certain business schools before. And even if you're not an international student, a STEM MBA will fast track your career path after the MBA into technical and analytical positions. As I mentioned before, STEM programs are not recommended for those who want to focus on gaining general management skills. But if you have a technical background and you want to focus on building your business skills while leveraging your analytical strengths, then a STEM MBA might be the right fit for you. Top tech firms such as Amazon and Google are now some of the biggest employers of MBA graduates. Candidates who can demonstrate expertise in both STEM and business are exactly what many leading firms are looking for. People who can understand their fast evolving systems and platforms while translating this into commercial strategies and profitable models. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got value out of this, please go ahead and smash that like button down below. And on your way down there, feel free to subscribe to my channel to be updated on new content. That's it for today. My name is Adrian. Until next time.